a happy and peaceful life. My parents are nice and understanding. I have great friends. My best friend can be a little bit blunt at times, but I know she really cares. You're so clumsy, Kaya. Everything is going well in school, but there is one problem. I'm home. Kaya, I chased away that dirty alley cat again today. Ah, uh, but you were almost caught by Kaya's mother in the middle of a fight, no less. <laughs> Just almost! It all turned out fine in the end! Kerbal is in such high spirits. He risks his life over stupid things. What an idiot. There it is. My stuffed animals have souls. They can walk and talk. Can you imagine all the trouble they can get into? Bad boy. A few days ago, Kerbal was attacked by some sort of dinosaur. Who was that stuffed animal? I was so worried. Oh, him? Um, well, there are power struggles between stuffed animals, you know? Real men have to stand up for themselves and defend their turf! Really? Huh. You see, the world of stuffed animals isn't so different from our own. It would take a lot more than this to turn my life upside down. But still, I never imagined that a single event would bring into my life happiness, worry, and fright all at once. Hey, Kaya! Hi, Masumi! It's really cold today, isn't it? Ah, <sighs> sure is. It might even snow. They said so on the news. Oh, that's great! I hope you're right! Don't be so excited! You're not a puppy! You don't want it to snow? When it snows just a little, the ground gets all slushy. And when it snows a lot, it gets all slippery and can cause car accidents! Well, that's true, but... Hmm? Whoa, it's a gentleman! And he's... looking this way. Do you know him, Kaya? No, I've never seen him before. But I feel like he reminds me of someone I know. Are you coming, Kaya? We're gonna be late! Ah! Julian. What are you making, Kaya? Little coats for my stuffed animals. What? Aren't you taking this a bit too far? Not at all. This way, you'll be able to take them anywhere, even in the rain or snow. It's too cute. Hmm, maybe I should make some cosplay for them. <laughs> Yukino? Say, Kaya, why don't you use a sewing machine? Well, I love sewing by hand. This way I can continue sewing anywhere. <laughs> What's wrong? I, uh, <laughs> well, I thought there was an animal outside the window. That couldn't have been purple, could it? But this is the second floor. Maybe it was a bird? Ah, uh, it must have been him. You know, the cheetah. Oh, that guy who confessed to Kaya? He's persistent. But we're on the second floor. He couldn't be spying through the window. Well, at least I know now what Kaya is making, and it's not a gift for a boy. That's a relief. Ugh. <sighs> It's snowing! Oh no, I hope the trains won't get stuck. Of course not! <sighs> Snow. I think that it fits well with Shinri. Shinri, the doorbell is ringing. Huh? Shinri, I want to go see that Kayamase girl you told me about. What? She's quite charming, that young girl. Her tender heart overflows with love for stuffed animals. Yes, yes, and you are also around the same age. Huh? Uncle, what are you trying to say? Oh no, it's nothing. I still need to do a little more research. Birds get frightened and fly away if you spook them after all. So I must act carefully. Huh? 
We'll see you soon. Why did he even come here in the first place? Ugh, my uncle is insane. And I was sleeping so peacefully too. <laughs> what is it, Father? Did something pleasant happen today? Would you like to hear about it, Chara? Well, I found the perfect young lady to become Shinri's wife. A young lady who belongs to neither of our two grand families and yet possesses the gift to create stuffed animals. A real pearl, is she not? For the future of the Jewel Doll Company, she must absolutely- Not my wife! Uh... I will be Shinri's wife! Cousins get married too, you know! But if the blood gets too thick... For dessert, I'll have a piece of chocolate cake in the small parlor! Very well, sir. Shinri is mine! I won't let anyone take him from me! Ah! Like this, we don't have to worry about the rain or snow anymore! Whoa! They're not completely waterproof, though, so don't overdo it! Don't worry! I'll be careful! Will you really? Snow? It's snowing outside? Dog sure love the snow. <sighs> snow. It looks so mysterious somehow. I'd like to show them to Shinri in their little coats. I'm sure he wouldn't be surprised to see them walking around, and it'd be nice to talk about stuffed animals together. Wait, what am I thinking? We're not that close. <laughs> While I was thinking about such silly things, a terrible storm was heading my way. In the next day... Whoa. There's snow everywhere! It doesn't look like it'll stop anytime soon. Lucky there's no class today. Yeah! It's snowing! It's snowing! Uh, hey, today's perfect. Oh, look! Little dogs just love snow so much, don't they? They seem to be enjoying their walk. It really looks like I'm walking my dogs, doesn't it? Yes, it's not too uncommon to see dogs wearing little coats. Hmm. Say, are you heading towards Shinri's house by any chance? Huh? Of course not! What are you thinking, that I'm hoping to run into him? It kind of looks that way. Excuse me, mademoiselle? Huh? Have you seen my iris? Ah! Oh, did I scare you? I'm very sorry. No, no, no. Uh, you said you lost your Iris? Iris is my teddy bear. I must have dropped her. And with all this snow... That's terrible! Let's go look for it together! Thank you. That's very kind of you. No, it's nothing. I love stuffed animals too. What does yours look like? She is made of white mohair and wears a tutu as well as a crown. Oh, she must look like a princess! But of course, she is my teddy bear after all. Uh, it's true that she looks like a princess. Maybe mixed blood? Huh? She also reminds me of someone I know. Hmm. Hmm? Yours is cute as well. Did you make it yourself? Huh? Oh, no, no. I found him in the street a very long time ago. Hmm. I would like to hold it in my arms until we find my iris. Huh? Oh, alright. She must be very sad to have lost her teddy bear. I hope we'll find it quickly. This little one. He is alive, isn't he? I can feel the souls of stuffed animals. And if they are alive, I have the power to kill them. Huh? What are you saying? If you do not wish to lose this little one, then give up on Shinri. Huh? Give up on... Wait a minute. Who are you? My name is Shara Harihara. I am Shinri's cousin, and I have known him far longer than you have. Kaya, it seems that this girl is in love with him. What? In love? Wait a minute, all I did was talk with him a little, that's all! I don't have to listen to your justifications. Purple! It's no use pretending! Hurry and escape! Oh man, you're right! Ah! Snowflakes? No, they're stuffed animals made of synthetic fur! Kaya! Hold still. Unless you would like your master to suffocate. 
You will give up on Shinri. No, no, stop! Stop! Don't hurt Purple! Kaya! Uh, Kaya! He transformed! When a stuffed animal is cherished with the purest love, the power of that love explodes within, and it can take a human appearance. It's a legend whispered throughout the world of stuffed animals. He can transform, while my stuffed animals cannot. Ugh. <sighs> huh? Sure! Stop it this instant! My dear, this apologies, Mademoiselle. What's that? That was crazy. That girl's insane. Oh! Purple! Thank you for saving me. Oh, well, it was nothing. And yet, I don't like the idea of Kaya getting close to Shinri either. But I just couldn't live with myself if Kaya sacrificed her feelings on my account. The situation is becoming gradually more exciting. Uh, fake? <laughs>